the least amount of people to win the vote. We won't even need 50% of America. There doesn't need to be 50% of Americans. So we're getting close now. By the time 2024 comes around, there will be enough of us. The corporations are gone. We're watching it before our very eyes. And it's a beautiful thing if your eyes are open and you're paying attention. If you know what to look for. But just like a lot of drivers going down the freeway, they miss the dead deer on the side of the road. That's the down again come up with. They drive right past it. Didn't even see it. And that's what's happening. When you're aware, you'll start seeing something. When you get very, very, very aware, like I am, you'll see something happening every single day that's getting us closer and closer and closer. It's absolutely beautiful, like Bank of America. What a beautiful thing. A whole bunch of people lost money. Yay! It's good for the nation as a whole. Sacrificial. Sorry about that. But it's a good thing overall. We have to crash the system down. We've got to crash the stock market. It has been falling all year. All of last year. It's been falling and going down. It's going to continue to fall. The dollar's been falling. You know what happened last week with Arabia? No more petrodollar. No more U.S. dollars or petrodollar. It's crashing. That's just last week. The pound's crashing. The euro's crashing. That's the three biggies. The yen is already back by gold. The ruble's already back. Russia and China are ahead of us. What the hell's wrong with Americans? They're doing their part. You guys are contributing money to this whole Ukraine bullshit. Stop it! Ukraine's not a fault. Putin's doing the right thing. He's hitting the right targets. He's our friend. Not only is the family one of the 13 descendants of Solomon, Oh, did I say that on camera? Yeah. That's what I can get in trouble for. I can get in trouble for that one. Oh, shoot. Okay, anyway. Hold on. I'm passionate. I want, I want the knowledge out there so bad. There's things I can't tell. And it, it's hard for me. I'll tell you what. It rips me apart. But he is doing the right thing. He is a partner. All this threat of Russian stuff for years and years and years has been CIA made up bullshit. Democrat sponsored bullshit. Communism sponsored bullshit. And that's the Democrats. Is that like you told Putin said it here. Mr. President, the ball's in your court. Yes, he is. Yeah. 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 And, and where did, who did he hand it to? Oh, Melania. She's the queen of the Dane world. Trump's the president of Jerusalem. Worldwide, that's important. Because our mafia Jews will fall. Want to speak a little about that? Yeah. 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 You want to learn real history? Yeah. 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 Jews were booted out of Israel. They fled. They went up through Acre to Constantinople, through what's now modern day Georgia to the Silk Road up to Kiev. <coughs> and they became, because 
historians. And when Stalin killed 20 million of his own people, which is a drop in the bucket of what the United States has done since World War II, when Stalin killed 20 million of his own people, where did he kill them? Down in that very southern part of Russia, around Kiev. He was trying to get rid of the Khazarian Jews. They were infiltrating Russia and stealing through their banking and finance and fraud and greed. They were stealing from the backs of the Russian people. So I'm trying to walk them out. Now I'm probably going to piss a lot of you off because they probably already did with that one. Might as well keep going. <laughs> Hitler! Did he become a bad man in the end? Absolutely. Did he commit genocide? Absolutely. Did he go about the wrong way? Absolutely. But you know what he started to do? You know what he started off doing? Eliminating the Khazarian Jews that were attacking his people of Germany. And his people of Germany knew that, and they were behind him 100%. History is written by the victor. Were the good people in the end? Oh, God, no. Soros is one of them. How we let him in this country? Let him run and control and own most of our insurance companies. I mean, he owns so much. It's unreal. By the time World War II, one guy done those guys should have been. Really? Okay. Hitler couldn't tell the difference between a Khazarian Jew and a real Jew. And there is a, there is a difference between the two. Okay? Khazarian Jews control all of our media. You're watching TV, you're watching the news, turn that shit off. In fact, either use your TV as a computer monitor without without television or target practice. Yeah. I'm serious. You want to watch something on a screen? Watch Hollywood's due process movies. Hundreds of them. They'll tell you what's coming. CIA did that on purpose. They have. Evil has to disclose. Okay? <clears throat> All right. Probably just a few off. That's okay. <laughs> I, I disregard 90% of the disinformation artists out there. And, you know, those P's and C's and uh, J's. J7s, does that help you? CWs. On and on. Okay. <clears throat> when a child is born, do you have to apply for a birth certificate? Well, the AMA. President Trump himself says it's the most evil organization in the world, the American Medical Association. You know, years ago I did a little mission in Egypt, and I, I always have time while on there. It's not like you're going to fly home in the middle of one, so you got a few days usually in the middle to, to negotiate for a while, and you wait for them to make decisions, and then you do the business you've got to do. And while you're waiting for them to make decisions, you've got a little time. So I did a couple of uh, pyramid tours. And down in one of the old pyramids in Egypt, I saw a symbol on the wall. And I thought, well, this is interesting. It looks like the AMA symbol. And as I'm looking closer at it, it's not snakes, it's grapes. Two grape vines, and where the heads were a bunch of grapes. That was the symbol of evil. What did evil do? 
turned it into snakes, which came right off the breastplate of Blasphemat and Mula. Right up there. That's the AMA symbol, the American Medical. And, and the CIA spent millions and millions of dollars through the 50s, 60s, 70s, and the 80s for four decades, millions of dollars on television teaching you to trust your doctor, trust your pharmacist, so they can peddle poison. Anything that's a pharmaceutical, the definition of pharmaceutical is poison. Right? It is. That they never cure you of anything. They keep you sick, keep you coming back, and it became one of the largest industries in the world is the medical industry. That's where the majority of Americans spend most of their money. Everything they work for their whole life, they spend it all back on medical before they die. That's how they get you. They want them back. Have right sure. the What's that? Have right the bottom day one. That's right that they have. <clears throat> Where can I get the four founding documents? Civilflags.org is where I pick up these parchments. Civilflags.org. I wish they wouldn't fold them and put them in a small envelope and mail them to you. That drives me a little crazy. I wish they'd put a piece of cardboard in full size envelope or whatever size the document is and mail it to you and then it makes better framed pictures. Now, now, <coughs> from Washington, D.C., you can also order the documents and you need to order certified copies. When you get them, they're Pretty much unreal, but that's not the point. In Washington, D.C., from the archives, you can order certified copies of our four founding documents. They are important, even though you can't read them. Has anybody done that in here? Yeah, they suck, don't they? Okay. <laughs> That's okay. Here's what you do with them. You sign your name to them just like you're one of the founding fathers. You sign your name to them. You put it in with a little one-page affidavit accepting the Bible and our four founding documents as your law. And you go record it with the county. Put it on the public notice that that is your law. Now when you go on the court, <laughs> you put in a notice seven to ten days before you go to court. I always put all my documents into a court case seven to ten days before I go in there. I put them right on the docket. I serve the opposing parties by registered mail. And I put them on the docket of your court case. This is how you win before you go in. Then when you go in, you're just there to stand upon your documents. You don't even really have to say anything. They say, Your Honor, did you read the documents that I put on the docket? If you have, I stand firmly upon those facts. Well, then if you're scared and you're one of those people who can't think quickly or you can't respond quickly, uh, you know, you're timid, a lot of people are, it's not, not your fault. It really is. Guys, I feel for you. Don't worry. Because you did it right. Now as you're there for is because Lady Justice has two ears. That's ears. That's why she there must be a hearing. You understand that, right? And she has two eyes to read and see. She has two ears of which to hear. That's why it's got to be done by paper. It's got to have a hearing. All right. Okay. How do we pay off debt at a local? Okay. I almost thought of 
said, bar. <laughs> it actually says bank. At a local bank for a mortgage. Well, you keep trying and you don't give up first. You don't know your receiver. That's always been one of American State National's problems is we got to train others because they're all stupid. It's okay. We were all trained stupid. They had the same law class kindergarten through 12th grade as we did, right? So every one of them, we've got to train. That's the way it seems. So these small local banks, they don't always know. A lot of times,